think everybody that's a Red Sox fan remembers where they were in 1975. I get goosebumps when I think about it. Well hit right field, that fair ball, home run for Geronimo, and it's a 6-3 ball game. That series might have been, from beginning to end, as intense a series that as there ever was. Cincinnati getting a little bit closer to a world championship. I was in the living room with my mom and dad uh, watching the Red Sox. Uh, I had fallen asleep and my dad woke me up. Deep center field, way back. We're tied up. We Bernie Carbo's home run uh, in the eighth inning that tied the game. These two clubs have battled and battled, and they're battling again. You know, we were not supposed to have a chance to even hardly compete against the big red machine. And we did. Bottom of the 12th inning, and it'll be Pat Darcy, who has been very impressive in two innings. He has set down six Red Sox hitters, and Fisk will lead it off. Freddie and I are standing on the on deck circle. And the wind blowing out. We've had three homers tonight. So Freddie, you know, I feel like I'm going to hit some, I'm going to hit the ball off the wall and drive me in. You know, and then, you know, and then two pitches later, the game's over. So. There it goes, the long drive. If it stays fair. We will have a seventh game in this 1975 World Series for Carl Fisk. Uh, watch it. <laughs> How many steps does he take? One. He waits to see it. Get over. Get over. <laughs> he knew it. There it is. And the camera angle, you know, I've heard the story about the rat. The camera guy in left field saw a rat, and he was afraid to move, and so he just kept the camera focused on Carlton Fisk as he hit the home run, and that's why you got that great shot, jumping up and down, waving, waving, and then seeing him jump up and down in the air. That, to me, was was classic. I don't know who leaped higher, me or my father, uh, or Carlton, when he was running the bases. And Carlton Fisk had a lot of little boy in him right there, Joe. He took one step, knew it was going to be close, he knew it was gone, and it was dancing in the streets all the way around. The foul pole didn't have that screen on the inside of the foul pole, like a foot inside, and the ball had gone by the pole, and the umpire had called it, you know, going by in front instead of in back. What would have happened? I don't know. I'm just glad it didn't, I guess. And they are just dancing in the streets here as Carlton Fisk brings a seventh game the picture says it all.